So when you're looking to pick up a budget smartphone, you're thinking, I'm gonna buy something I'll throw away for um, a useful while and throw away quite quickly. But when you look at the Honor 8X, you might think otherwise. Now it's priced roughly around 259, at least here in the US on eBay, uh, but it's a device that ranges between 200 and 250 or so. Now this device here comes with a completely different build, design philosophy from Honor, that says, why must it look cheap for a budget smartphone? We've got a device that has a glass back. Yes, I know, that's what you get in your premium devices. So you see this on the table, it looks you know, like it looks expensive, which is really nice. I like that. Even though I'm not spending that much money, I'm still getting that feeling that I, at least I'm getting much more than what I'm spending for. Now the cameras at the back are a dual camera setup, 20 and two, allows you to take those portrait photos. The front facing camera is a 16 megapixel shooter. Now that display is 6.5 inches, it is large. Less. It's large, it's beautiful, its form factor uh, is much slimmer to feel like a 5.5 inch device. So it's really comfortable to hold. Now granted, my hands are bigger than most, but I still feel that it's a really nice and comfortable device to hold and navigate. Now speaking of that display, it's an LCD display, 1080p, and it looks really good for what you're getting here. And watching content off this is really nice. I was able to enjoy content uh, like, of course, the Mate 20 Pro video. Go check that out, guys, if you haven't already. But also just looking at my wallpaper, it looked really nice as well. Now, speaking of that content, you do, do have a single uh, speaker at the bottom. And here's a quick sample of that speaker sound. Like hot light. Where do we go? Now the speakers sound decent, they're not bad, nothing too spectacular, but it also comes with a headphone jack and I have to say the headphone jack was actually decent in audio quality. So I was impressed with that and the fact that yes, it does have a headphone jack. So for me, that is a big plus with this device. Now, in terms of internals, you're looking at something that has a 3750 milliamp battery, which means you've got a battery life that will last you quite well, the way Honor actually runs things. And if you put this into uh, your, you know, a power saver mode or you're trying to conserve, it will last you at least a more than a day or even closer to two days on this device. So that is actually pretty nice. All the internals include four gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage and up to 128, expandable up to 400 gigabytes by uh, micro SD card. Now you do have it powered by the Kirin 710 processor, which is a fabulous processor. What, what this processor has done is made this just run smooth, smooth functionality. And it's got a lot of uh, functionalities that you find in the Kirin 970. One of them includes, of course, the MPU functionality for AI mode, which is built into the camera and also has the turbo boost. So gaming on this device was really solid. Playing PUBG Mobile, it felt smooth, there were no slowdown. It didn't even run hot. That was a very key thing here. Um, the only device, game I just couldn't play was uh, Fortnite. Fortnite said it wasn't compatible, so uh, hopefully the, uh, the processor gets updated at some point. But it ran really, really well. And that was really key. I think a lot of people will like that. Now, speaking of those AI functionalities, when you go into the camera, you have a camera setup that's similar to what you have with a lot of Honor and, and uh, uh, Huawei devices. You do have the AI mode, and the AI mode allows you to use the AI functionalities, especially in taking photos. And it provides some pictures and images that are much punchier, uh, which my buddy Marion Sells would say. So they're a little bit more vibrant. The night uh, photos actually look like, looks pretty good. I was quite impressed with what I saw. The uh, front-facing camera was decent, nothing too spectacular there. And the portrait actually looks good enough for what you have here. So I think in all, the camera did a really good job. So there you have it, the camera is pretty nice. You've got a device that's solid overall in terms of build, a device that also feels comfortable and easy to use, allows you to game the way you want to game, um, it can give you uh, a decent audio experience, a nice viewing pleasure, and also a device that just packs in a bang for your buck. I think it's really understated to how well this device is built to be cost effective and providing you a lot of features. So there you have it guys. I like the Honor 8X. I think it's a device to pick up if you're looking to just uh, save money and spend well. I think this is a device you can definitely pick up now. We'll have a link for you guys down below. Also, we have a giveaway. Honor is giving away uh, the brand new, soon to be announced Honor uh, Magic 2. So follow the link down below, enter, and hopefully you can win that device as well. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, 
subscribe to the channel. And yes, I will have this wallpaper for you on my Pinterest page. So go ahead and follow me there. And this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.